What up everyone, Big Kev back in the building. Today we're going to be checking out when football players get caught cheating. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's check it out. Curious to see what type of examples we're going to be uh, getting in this video. Haven't heard of any of the cheating scandals in uh, professional football. I'm sure there's got to be a fair amount just like with any sport. But uh, let's see some of these instances where players uh, get caught doing it. Goalkeepers using glue to paying off referees. These really? Are football players getting caught cheating? And let they paid off football players during the middle of a game? That's a pretty wild thing to do. Especially with all those cameras on you. That's crazy. Start off with Marwin Hits. Because with the game on the line, he completely bamboozled the referees. See his foot here? Yeah, that dude's up to no good. Huh. His goal? Make his opposition's life a living hell. But never in a million years did he expect this. When Modest did step up, he's standing... Sheesh, one small kick of the grass made all the difference. Which is crazy, because if Hits can get away with cheating, you better believe Luis Suarez is going to be doing the same. The 2010 World Cup, and all bets were off. Ghana was trying to become the first African team to ever make the Final Four. Meanwhile, Uruguay was looking to qualify for their first FIFA World Cup semifinal since 1970. This match hmm. could have gone either way, but not if Luis Suarez had something to say about it. <laughs> he crossed lines nobody else would have dared to cross. One of those up for it. It's going to get the flick in. And Muslera. Oh, cleared on the line. And cleared on the line a second. Dang. Suarez just intervened with fate. You yeah. guys felt bad, right? Wrong. I don't say the apologize about that. Yeah, right. Because I take the handball, the Ghana player. And miss a penalty, not me. But he's not the only one to go yeah. off the deep end. Because imagine cheating with a smile. I mean, wouldn't you rather take the handball penalty than like let up the goal and I mean, put it on them to make the penalty kick, right? I mean, I don't know many players in that big a situation who wouldn't rather take that that penalty. So I mean, that's not that crazy to me anyway. I mean, I don't know how often it actually happens in football, but. I mean, it makes sense to me when you explain it. On your face. See, few people enjoy cheating as much as David Luiz. <laughs> With Chelsea leading Manchester United 1-0, Luiz wanted to put the nail in the coffin. However, it didn't matter how. He just wanted to get the job done. Oh, look at him. What a faker. Just kicks him after the ball has gone right in front of... Look at him smiling. <laughs> First the flop, then the laugh. Man United just got got. Although that wasn't even David Luiz's biggest cheating. In it feels like if you like if you get caught like faking an injury like that, is there some kind of penalty? Like they put time back on the clock, or you just beat and it's too bad. You you know they they win, or like you know they got away with it, or is there like a free kick or penalty kick, or like is there some kind of repercussion if you can you know clearly get caught? Like he did with that smile. I mean, obviously, if you're pretending being pain, even if they think you flopped, you know, I don't think they can prove it. But I mean, that's one of those rare times where, I mean, come on, he's laughing. He's obviously doing it on purpose. It feels like there should be some type of kind of like a rule or penalty in place to punish players, not only from doing that, but from like getting away with that, which will lead to more players doing that in the future incident because when david luis and slatan ibrahimovic joined forces you already know there's gonna be fireworks I these dudes said f the chokehold. referees we're creating our own free kick line now <laughs> normally i'd call these dudes crazy for messing with the refs but then i remembered the 2009 match between chelsea and barcelona this game had it all high stakes goals and an unprecedented amount of bad calls hey you stuck his leg stuck his leg Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. See, this Champions League semifinal was skewed from the very beginning. What Chelsea didn't realize was they weren't facing Barcelona, they were facing a completely different monster the referees. It started as a tackle in the penalty box, which was supposed to be a penalty kick, yet somehow the refs only awarded Chelsea with a free kick. However, this was merely the beginning. Oh, and Drogba controls. He's gone down. The referee looked at his linesman and doesn't award a penalty. 
And if that's not a foul, then I don't know what is. But what happened next was even worse. Anelka, is that handball against PK? The referee says no. No. <laughs> that's right. These refs literally missed literally the easiest handball call his entire of hand. Well, actually, it was the second easiest call of their career. Because in the 90th minute, you're not going to believe what went down. Insured as Lampard takes the corner and Czech was up there and got ahead to it. Balak has a rattle, a handball appeal, and the referee says no. Balak confronts him angrily. I huh, mean, it pissed. doesn't get easier than that. A clear and blatant handball in the penalty box. Chelsea should have gotten to kick the game-winning PK, but instead the refs pretended they didn't see it all together. Either the refs got paid, or huh. they're obsessive Barcelona fans. Because it's Is there any kind of replay at all in football? I don't know if there's like been one that's instituted. I know like in American football, they change the replay like rules all the time. I'm not sure if uh, football has any uh, replays allowed or challenges to plays. It's one thing to miss a few calls, but this is next level. Not one, but four potentially game-changing calls. That's yeah, you miss four calls in a big game like that, and uh, you're definitely not going to... You're definitely going to get called out for some suspicious behavior, especially with a few of those which were egregious, even in me, who's not like, uh, you know, very clear or nuanced on some of the, you know, different uh, rules of uh, football still. Straight up disgraceful. But you can't find the word disgraceful in the dictionary without bringing up Sergio Ramos. After all, John Cena once said, <laughs> a man's character is not judged after he celebrates a victory, but by what he does when his back is against the wall. And in 2018, Sergio Ramos found himself with his back against the wall. It was a Champions League final between Ramos's Real Madrid and Mo Salah's Liverpool. It was shaping up to be an all-time classic. Both teams appeared to be evenly matched matched. Although, that was before Sergio Ramos made a highly controversial decision. UEFA Champions League. Sa. He's crying. He's out. Yeah, he's Come hurt. on, bro. His you just arm tried him. Salah's arm in half. Show some respect. But respect was the last thing Sergio Ramos wanted to share. To the bathroom, I was crying in the bathroom because I won't start a game. I won't play. But in the meantime, I know that I'm not fit at all to play. But in that, in one moment, like disappeared. It's, it's so it's so difficult. It's so difficult. Ramos came into the game with one goal: win at all costs. Safe to say, injuring Mo Salah was winning at all costs. So when Ramos won the award for 2017-2018 Champions League Best Defender, the last thing he received from Salah was respect. Although, yeah, right. This wasn't the only time Mo Salah got disrespected. In 2022, stakes were at an all-time high between Senegal and Egypt. There was only room for one of their two countries at the World Cup in Qatar. And worse yet, these teams were both equally deserving. They fought to the very end. They were deadlocked after the first 90 minutes and remained tied after extra time. This meant it would all come down to PKs. That's when one fan stepped in and pulled out his secret weapon. This time he's making sure that he is taking one. Jesus Christ, why how is this allowed? Salah then against Mendy and he's missed it. It's rare you see Mo Salah miss a PK. But missing by that much? That should have been a dead giveaway. Nevertheless, the refs ignored the laser and let the penalty kick continue. How is the lasers allowed? And karma collected, is he? I mean, it's clearly to the World Cup. interfering with the this player. If you get a laser shown in your eye, I mean, they can blind you. I mean, I, I've I've definitely remember when those little red pen lasers were all the rage, and uh, I definitely had one of those flashed on my eyes multiple times, and. Yeah, I mean, especially trying to make a big kick. I mean, you you can't you can't see for that moment. I mean, that's uh, you think they have like security like in the stands because they were doing it throughout the game. It looked like there's a lot of clips with the lasers. You think they'd either ban them or have security go out and get rid of the people shining them on the players? Was it like a thing on at games where like everyone had those lasers? It feels like a bad uh, thing to introduce into a soccer match considering the potential for issues like 
came up here. ...and alter the fate of two entire countries. It's bad enough when you have lasers pointed in your face. But wait until you hear about this next player. See this goalkeeper lying on the ground? He may look helpless, yeah, but he that looks could like be dead. any further from the case. Just a few moments earlier, he did this. Eh. Now, normally, this foul would result in a red card and instant ejection, but it's kind of hard to give a player a red card when he's dead. That's right. <laughs> this goalkeeper... He's pretending like he's unconscious. That's hilarious. ...tended to be dead just to get out of a red card. There's just one problem. He's fine. He can't play dead forever. So yeah. eventually, this goalkeeper was forced to abandon his plan and accept his fate. It's crazy <laughs> to think one player would risk it all to stay in the game. But it's a lot crazier when you fake your own death. His name is Robert Rojas, and in 1989, he played goalkeeper for the Chile national team. More specifically, Chile had a chance to qualify for the World Cup. But first, they needed to get through Brazil and the Maracana, win, and make the World Cup. Lose, and their World Cup dream is over. When Brazil went up 1-0, fans witnessed something unprecedented. What the hell happened here? Someone threw a firework at the goalkeeper during a game? Damn, these 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 fans are crazy. The Brazilian fans threw a flare at Robert Rojas. <laughs> what else could have happened? This guy fell on the ground bleeding and had yeah, to be right? treated by the doctors. Everyone was worried for Rojas's life, including the Chile national team. They left the dude. That dude got messed up by that flare. Pitch and protest and refused to continue the yeah. game. But a day later, everything was turned upside down. Once this image appeared on TV, the image showed very clearly the firework had not hit Rojas. And not just that, but the doctors also admitted the injuries looked weird for a flare. This confirmed fans' worst fears. This was all a setup. Later, Rojas confessed what really happened. This whole what? time, bro had a razor blade hidden in his goalkeeper what? gloves and cut himself with it. Why would you have a blade in your glove for? Like, did he know the flare was coming? Was that part planned also? Because otherwise, why would you just randomly have a razor blade in your glove so that you could possibly blade? I mean, what under what other circumstances would a goalkeeper have to pretend to blade for? That's a that's an insane insane story to fake the attack the coach the team doctor of chile no one was safe the entire chile national team was involved all that effort what? just to get brazil disqualified from the world cup instead roberto rojas ended up receiving a lifelong ban yeah. from football oh shit we can only hope this serves as a learning moment for current and future players what a stupid plan why did you think that would work like really just like I hope Neymar starts changing his ways. Because by 2018, there. Neymar was trying to live two different lives. There was Neymar, the football prodigy. And then there was Neymar, the <laughs> world-famous actor. But yeah. it wasn't until the 2018 <laughs> World Cup when he pulled off his biggest acting stunt yet. How far is he going to roll? <laughs> Bro wasn't fooling anyone. <laughs> yeah, and do. within minutes, this clip became an internet sensation. The memes were endless. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he took it too yeah, far I there. Neymar was a flopper, but no one saw this. They didn't know he was a roller also. Died. Before the World Cup even started, KFC saw it coming from a mile away. <laughs> made fun of it in commercials hilarious can't make this stuff up who knew neymar would draw inspiration from a kfc commercial but the craziest part of it all even the kids started catching on to neymar's antics <laughs> that's pretty funny Forget all the, the kids in the unison cab. knew there's a new move in town the neymar roll however flopping has nothing 2013 was he hurt for all those did he just hurt for all those years that's a pretty long span just to be injured for not play, or did he just didn't play because he wasn't starting for some of that time? That's uh, that's weird. You should never bet on your own team to begin with. I mean, you're just asking for, you know, headaches and trouble and all their kinds of nonsense when you do that. But uh, 
I mean, after four years, it feels like, I guess he's still technically part of the team if they're giving him crap about it. But, yeah, that's weird not to have even played a game and still be on a squad four or five years later. Or at least in other sports, I don't know, is uh, is that more normal in uh, football? It doesn't seem like it should be. He is. He'll be back better than ever. They're paying me this up. I mean, there was, like, uh, football players as suspended for longer than that for like way less infractions so that's uh in america so that's pretty crazy that he only got eight months for 232 bets that you know broke the rules a picture like of me which is fair enough they they can go off what they want to see but people that know me know how i am i know what, what i'm about and the fact is like you said every like majority of football teams now are sponsored by gambling gambling companies yeah so it's kind of like <laughs> Wait, 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 up. Like, if that's, if that's the rules, don't be betting. Then, yeah, you shouldn't be betting, but for people that need help, yeah. there should be more around that to stop them from leading towards that direction. Well, time will tell if Tony can stay away from betting on soccer games. In the meantime, he'll have to settle for the slot machine. But while Ivan Tony makes his highly anticipated return this year, we gotta revisit the one and only Luis Suarez. The question can't help but be asked, just how far is he willing to go? And it wouldn't to move his head as well dude how after biting someone the first time aren't you like in severe trouble the second time i feel like you gotta be like gone at that point and then a third time is anyone surprised when he does it a third time i mean that's pretty uh pretty crazy i know recently just very recently there was a mma fighter that bit someone during uh, a ufc fight and they got um, they immediately got disqualified and then they got booted from the ufc they were fired immediately because that's unacceptable not once not twice but three times surely there's got to be an explanation so got some big teeth too porque lo hice yo me di cuenta enseguida que hacemos el gol a los minutos creo a los 10 minutos creo que hacemos el gol de godín entro al vestuario y lo primero que hago fue hablar con mi mujer que estaba ahí con los nenes y todo Y me preguntaba, me preguntó qué, qué había hecho y obviamente que, que yo siempre <ríe> en el principio no quería aceptar la realidad, negando, llorando todo y bueno, la verdad que fue un momento muy muy dolorido para mí. However, here's what fans really wanted to know. Did Suarez apologize? Of course not. Yeah. He behaves in a cunning way and FIFA allows him to do so because they need the champions to play. They don't have the courage to make the right decisions. How's my man gonna... Yeah, that's some bullshit. I mean, if there was a lesser player, they definitely face severe consequences for biting someone and doing it multiple times. And then that stupid non-apology apology, like didn't even know what he was doing, is kind of ridiculous. Like when your uh, your home team is, uh, you know, saying you should be suspended, especially since the World Cup only comes around like you know once every four years. You know, your national team, if it's you know, I don't know when that suspension was handed down, but if it was during that time frame, that's a big that's a big loss. So, I mean, uh, you know, you're in the wrong when even then they're like, yeah, you can't you can't do this. That's how you know you've gone bananas. But now that this video is coming to and now he's like, oh my teeth hurt from biting all these people. Is that what he's like? What is he like doing with his like mouth over there? But close, help a brother out by hitting that subscribe button and watching the video on screen. Otherwise, Suarez is gonna bite your favorite player next crazy from goalkeepers using yeah that was definitely an interesting video the craziest one was the the flair with the faking the injury with the blading themselves i mean i don't have i think were they down one nothing at that point also i mean that's insane to come up with that plan in advance to try to like fake an injury to get brazil disqualified i mean i don't see how they thought that was going to actually work with cameras all around filming things i mean like they caught it all they could see him blading you know once they like knew what to look for and like you're right that blood and that injury shouldn't have happened from that that flare from where it like hit and where he fell from so i don't know why you would uh think that that was a smart idea because it could so easily backfire when it does obviously you're gonna get in you know, huge amounts of trouble, and that guy got suspended for life, which he totally should have been. I mean, that's a crazy move to pull during a, during a game. So, 
yeah, that was that was one of the more that and the biting were multiple times were two of the crazier crazier things. I mean, the Neymar flops were just funny. That role was pretty epic, but uh, yeah, I uh, I definitely enjoyed this one. Let me know uh, what you thought in the comments below or some uh, big instances of cheating that they may have missed that I should check out. Until next time, have a good one.